guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I'm going to be doing a get to know me kind of video. Um, I found this list of 21 questions online so I'm just going to be answering those. So yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so first one, are you named after anyone? No, I'm not named after anyone. My name is Rebecca and as far as I know my mom just picked that because she liked it. So no, I'm not named after anyone. When was the last time I cried? Um, last time I like actually like really legit cried, um, probably when I moved out of my house at school, um, like right when I graduated college, uh, which is only a couple months ago, but yeah, when I moved out it was really sad. Um, when I said goodbye to my best friend Kylie, um, I had like already moved everything out, like my room was empty, everything was packed away in the car, whatever. And I walked into her room and said goodbye to her last. And when I walked in, I was just like, I think, and I, I think that neither of us thought we were gonna cry because we're just like not really like that. And I walked in her room and I was just like, bye. And we were both like, ah, like such crybabies. No. It was really sad because I was leaving college, but also my best friend all throughout college. She lives. Her name is Kylie. She lives in California, and I'm on the East Coast. It was so hard saying goodbye to her because I was just like, oh my god, I'm like not gonna see her every day. And we were literally attached to the hip all through college, so that was really hard. Uh, Kai, if you're watching this, I miss you, and I can't wait to come visit you in LA and see your fabulous life. Do I have any kids? No, I have no kids, and I don't plan on having kids for quite some time, because I'm enjoying not having kids. <laughs> if I were another person, would I be a friend of myself? I would hope so. Um, I don't know, yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, I'm like pretty easygoing and like easy to get along with. Um, and I'm pretty loyal, so yeah, I would, I would definitely, you know what, I would be my friend. Will you ever bungee jump? Um, I don't know, probably not, because uh, when I was in Switzerland, I actually cliff jumped, which honestly I think is a little scary, because basically what you do is you're just on the top of a cliff, and they like attach a rope to you, and you just jump off. <laughs> it's like a 30 story cliff, which is really, really epic high, and I don't know, it was like in the middle of a blizzard. But I was actually with my best friend Kylie because we went abroad together and it was just like you're just standing on the edge of this cliff and you're just got this rope and there's this dude being like, alright, let's go, it's just time to jump and there's like nothing to hold on to and you're just like, ugh, whoo, because it's really, really high up and it was so scary. But as far as bungee jumping goes, I feel like I've already kind of checked that off the list so I probably won't ever be doing that, but I probably would skydive. What's your favorite cereal? Um, to be honest, I don't really buy cereal that often because if you're anything like me, you eat like six bowls in a row. I mean, maybe there are some people out, out there that have like this just enormous amount of self-control and can just have like one bowl, but it just never happens to me. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm just going to pour a little more in because I have a little more milk. And then you pour like an entire other bowl and it's just like, yep, okay, here we go, here's the fourth, down the hatch. <laughs> but when I do buy cereal, it's like boring, healthy cereal that's like no one's probably interested in. But, although I do really like Honey Bunches of Oats, those are really good, and they're actually, like, sugar-wise, not that bad. What's the first thing you notice about people? I don't know, that's kind of a hard question. I notice people's clothes, but, like, who doesn't notice that? People's makeup, I always notice people's makeup. If they're wearing it, I'm, like, looking at it, and, like, ooh, what's that? So that's something I definitely notice, like, right off the bat. What is my eye color? My eyes are blue, um, but they're also kind of green. It's funny, I actually just always thought, I was just like, oh yeah, I have blue eyes. Um, but then my boyfriend one time like said something like, oh yeah, like your green eyes. And I was like, huh, what? What are you talking about? I have blue eyes. Um, so apparently they are kind of green. I didn't know that. So, I mean, I should know that. They're my freaking eyes, but I don't know. They're like a little bit of green in the middle. So he always says I have green eyes, but I'm like, I don't know. They're kind of both. So blue and green, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Scary movie or happy ending? Definitely scary movie. Um, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with them because when I'm like, yeah, like we're gonna watch it, I'm like all pumped, like this is gonna be great, it's gonna like scare the pants off me, I'm so pumped. And then once it starts, I'm like, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think that I like scary movies better because I'm just like not a big movie person and I get like really antsy and kind of like bored. I just like have a really tough time like sitting through movies. I don't know why. I know it's like totally not normal, but. Scary movies, I can like easily sit through. I'm like on edge the whole time, like paying attention, like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? Like, what's around that corner? So I feel like I like them because they actually hold my attention and like I actually want to and enjoy to watch them. Like, I don't get bored. So, definitely scary movies. Although happy endings are nice, but whatever. What are your favorite smells? I don't know, that's kind of weird. My perfumes? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess anything that's baking in the oven doesn't matter what it is, just any food in the oven smells amazing. But in general, like scent-wise, I guess like perfumes, I always go from warm, sultry scents 
get not so much like the really clean, like crisp, fresh scents, like citrusy or like any of that, like it's not, not my jam. I like the warm, um, more like musky, like vanilla or amber, those kind of scents. Those are the ones I always gravitate towards. So anything that smells like that, I'm pretty much gonna like it. Summer or winter? That's really hard because I like both. I am like a fan of all the seasons. I love the seasons changing. I can never live anywhere. I don't think that like doesn't really have seasons. Every time summer comes around, I'm like, yes, I'm so excited. Bring on the heat. I want to wear shorts. I want to wear tank tops. But then once towards the end of summer, I'm, ugh, I'm over this. I'm ready for like jeans and boots and scarves. And um, I mean, I like definitely like fall better than winter because winter can be a little extreme. But I don't know, like I like going up to the mountain, like going snowboarding and just like snow in general and just like bundling up. I love that. So I can't choose. I like both. For this, I've ever been from home. Um, well, I studied abroad and I lived in Florence, Italy, which was amazing. If you ever go there, let me know. I'll give you the lowdown on where to eat. Best place ever. Seriously, my favorite city in the world. It has my heart. I love it there so much. Um, but I guess in terms of like where I went, um, the furthest is probably Germany, although that's kind of in line with Italy, so whatever, Europe. Europe is the farthest, farthest I've ever been, and it was the best experience of my life. Do I have any special talents? No. I'm literally talentless. I hate this question. People ask me this, I'm like, no, I don't have any talents. I'm sorry, I don't have any talents. But seriously, I don't have anything. I got none. Where were you born? I was born outside of Philly, and that is where I have lived my whole life. What is my pet peeve? Um, my pet peeve, hands down, is when like someone else parks my car, or like when someone else drives my car, and when they park it, they leave the steering wheel turned. Oh my god, I don't know why that gets under my skin so much, but it literally like, ugh, like I don't understand, like can't you just straighten it out? When I get in the car, and it's like all out of whack, I'm just like, mm -hmm. just fix it before you get out of my car. Do I have any pets? Yes, I do. I have two dogs, they're both labs, and I have a chocolate lab and a black lab. You've probably seen like lots of pictures on my Instagram or stuff like that of the black lab. Her name is Ivy and she's like the baby and she, oh, she's seriously the love of my life. She's the cutest little bundle of joy ever. She, um, she's like a normal lab but like stopped growing so she's like really small for a lab and she's just so freaking cute. Like she still has like floppy skin like that she just never grew out of as a puppy and she's just literally like, she just like flops around and she's just like my favorite thing ever. She makes my day every day. She's so freaking cute. And Cassidy is my girl. She's been around for a long time. She's getting to be pretty old. Um, she's just like this sassy old lady and she's just adorable and I just really love my dog. What's your favorite movie? Um, like I said before, I am not a huge movie person um, so I don't really know. Although I do have a couple movies that like I could watch over and over which is big for me because I don't really like to sit through movies. Um, so the first one's really cheesy but I have to say Titanic. I love the Titanic. Whenever it comes on TV I'm literally like like I have to watch it till the end. There's just like no question. It doesn't matter if it's like two minutes in. I'm like I'm in. Sign me up. Three hours. Let's go. I just I can't not watch it. It just like sucks me in. I love that movie. The other movie I have to say that I could watch over and over and over is um, Law Abiding Citizen. Oh my god, that movie. It's just like one of the smartest movies I've ever seen. The plot is just so intense and just like. It's just incredible, like all the things that like the guy in the movie is like such a mastermind and there's all the different things he comes up with and just like the way the whole movie goes, it's just like oh my gosh, it's just, it's so good, I can seriously watch it over and over and over. Do I have any siblings? Yes, I have an older sister, her name is Brittany and she is about five and a half years older than me and she's getting married soon, Woo! What's my favorite color? To be honest, I don't really have a favorite color. Um, everyone's always like, ah, oh, my favorite color is white, like no, like that doesn't count. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a favorite color these days. I just don't really care enough. I like all colors equally, I guess. Um, but when I was little, I always, like growing up, my favorite color was always like turquoise, like Crayola, Robin's Eye Blue. That was my jam. I always liked that. So I guess like that could be my favorite color. What do I want to be when I grow up? That's a really hard question. Um, well, I went to school for nutrition and I'm currently doing a dietetic internship to become a registered dietitian and I'm also going to grad school, so it better have something to do with nutrition or else that was a major waste of time and money. What I want to do like doesn't really exist. Um, this might sound weird, but I'm so fascinated by pregnancy. I think it is like the coolest thing ever. It's my favorite thing to learn about all through school, which is always my favorite, like pregnancy and breastfeeding, all that. I just think it's so freaking interesting. So I kind of want to be, this doesn't even exist, but remember that girl, Rosie Pope, she had a show on it was like Bravo or E, I don't know, whatever. She was so awesome and she had like a pregnancy or maternity clothing line and she had like all these like pregnant clients that were high rollers and she would just be like, no, 
you are doing this all wrong. I'm gonna baby proof your house. I'm gonna help you through this thing. Let's do this. And she was just awesome. And she kicked ass. And I like want to be her, the like nutrition version, not so much the clothes. And I just want to be like, let's figure this out. This is what you should be eating. This is what you should be doing. If you want a recipe, let's do this. I just want to be the go-to pregnancy nutrition guru, which doesn't exist, but would be awesome if I could make it happen because that would be the coolest job ever. So that is it. Those are my 21 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. Um, I actually have a lot of fun doing this. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely do so because I have lots of fun things coming. Um, and let me know uh, if you liked this kind of video, if you liked getting to know me a little more. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, get to know me, tag, whatever videos, and I will be sure to do more of those. And also, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. It seriously makes my day every time you guys give me some love here on YouTube, so thank you so much for that, and I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.